Hey everybody, video here for you today. Now, hope everybody's doing good. I am doing a lot of reading for an upcoming video, and as many of you know, you can't only read, you have to comprehend too, so spending a lot of time refreshing myself and doing some new reading. As far as video, I have promised coming up, but today I want to talk about China. I made maybe 10, 12 videos on China total. This is a history we know little about, but we are going to talk about a little different thing today. We are going to go down and talk about some Neolithic graves that were found right down here in the Zhangqi district of the Shandong province here. And here is this area today. And I believe this find was made right down in this region, right down here. This is Science Alert, and the story is over two and a half years old. It says the ancient remains of 5,000-year-old giants discovered in China. Archaeologists in China have made a stunning discovery, finding the graves burying the ancient remains of giant people buried approximately 5,000 years ago. These graves were found during excavation in the Shandong province a few years ago. And are they giants? Well, they measured from just under 6 feet tall to just under 6 feet 4 inches tall. So in many people's eyes, including mine, they are not giants. But then on the other hand, coming from Neolithic times 5,000 years ago, they certainly well could have been considered giants of lore. That's a very tall person for back then. Here's a look at the excavation work that went on here. And they said the, the larger of the skeletons seemed to be buried in the nicer, larger tomb. So they must have had some status. We also found some homes here with separate kitchens and bedrooms, and it seemed to be pretty nice living for 5,000 years ago. Here is a burial found at the site, but maybe an elite. Has some ornamentation around the belt here. Notice this belt thing has the three. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm not even sure what that's made of or what's that, what that's for, but it seems to have three dots on it around the belt. And then something around the wrist here. They say these people came from the Longshen culture. And the average height of people at this time in China is not really something that we know. But the average male in Europe at the time, 5,000 years ago, was 5 feet 5 inches tall. So these people were quite a bit taller than the average person in Europe at the time. So they must have had some status or must have been considered very big. Here is a look at one of the burials here and some of the pottery urns, burial urns that were put in one of the graves here. Animal bones were found and they say the site only 2,000 square meters has been excavated so far and the site is over a square kilometer total. So who knows what they have found here in the meantime or what they'll find in the future. Now certainly an interesting story, very tall people coming from 5,000 years ago in China, a place we know little about. Archaeologist Fang Wei says an environment may, may have played a part in these people developing so tall. And he says that this Neolithic culture developed in full before China's first dynasty 5,000 years ago and then spread out around 3,000 BC around the China area here. Quite a ways away from the pyramids in China that I've covered, but Let's go take a look at something on Google Earth here. Here's a region where this excavation work is going on. I just haven't had the time to pinpoint it. But let's go down here, not too far away, to a mausoleum and a pyramid that I have never covered here in China. And I just found the history here pretty interesting. But when I was peeking around in this area at some other ancient ruins, I saw this. This pyramid is pretty small, but unlike other pyramids in China. It is actually made of stone here. But let's take a look first at this mound right behind the small pyramid. Here is the mound right behind the small pyramid. A stella here, and that mound does not look too different than some of the mounds we have looked at in my Ancient America series. And here you see the ancient mound, the stella, and then the pyramid right here, kind of blocked by the trees. But that'll give you an idea of how close together they are, and certainly they are linked. Just some general information on this place. The Mausoleum of Shoho is located in the city of Khufu, Shangdong Province, China. The city of Khufu, really? 
mausoleum complex honors Shouho, the son of the first mythical Chinese ruler, the Yellow Emperor, and one of the mythical five emperors himself. The mausoleum complex is best known for the pyramidal monument, which stands in front of the tomb itself, in which is often mistaken for the tomb called Shou Kui, mound or hill of longevity. This monument marks the birthplace of the Yellow Emperor, according to legend. So, goodness. That's pretty important. It is unique in China because of its pyramid-shaped stone construction. It consists of a mound that has been covered with stone slabs during the reign of Emperor Hu Zong of the Song Dynasty roughly 900 years ago. So a guy came along and put a recap of that pyramid structure about 900 years ago. What was there originally? Here's one pic I found of this small, strange pyramid here. Supposedly an emperor 900 years ago. Put the stones on here, recap something that was already here. What was here? How old was that? I wonder. But the base of it, just under 100 feet long and tall, just under 30 feet tall. So not very big, but still the stone pyramid structure. here. How far back does this place go as far as what was originally here? I think that's a good question. It says the rather unusual design of this monument has long attracted visitors' notice. As Reverend A. Williamson, who visited the site in 1865, wrote, The pyramid was not at all to be compared with the Egyptian ones for size, but of the same shape, and instantly reminded one of them, Anywhere but in China, we would look for such structures, but this is another indication of the antiquity of the Chinese and the oneness of the human race. The small, strange pyramid and this burial mound how far back does this go? Could this be connected to the Neolithic people 5,000 years ago that I talked about at the beginning? Well, let's just read one thing here. Some small pics of the site here. But it says, although there are no records of the excavation of the tomb itself, the 1978 excavation on the grounds of the enclosure uncovered various artifacts identified as Neolithic stone axes, shovels, and ceramics. So this site does go back to the Neolithic times. But the concentration is kind of on a mythical story who was here. This place seems really weird. I think I'm just going to leave it there. I got plenty of other stuff to work on. Please look into this yourselves. Tell me what you think. There are a few things that I found interesting with this site. Number one, if you just look down here, it seems to have like a causeway or a road coming off this site that goes quite a ways through the city here. Now, we are perfectly aligned to north, so this little pyramid and the road coming off of it here that I told you about that goes I think quite a ways through here but that appears to be slightly off alignment of true north but right nearby also I've been snooping a little right down here is a place called the cemetery of Confucius and the very origins of Confucius go right to this area here so pretty important place I guess in China there's a whole area here with ancient ruins here. A small stone pyramid here and a burial mound, stuff that goes back to the Neolithic age. Large people not too far away here found buried. Mounds and tall people, they are talked about together in ancient America. Well, I just found this video pretty fascinating. What is the story on this site? I don't know. I think this would take a long time to look into. Have to go over some mythologies of ancient China. The Yellow Emperor, but China here, not a lot known about it. But the history on this planet in the very early times seems to be kind of interconnected. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.